Alright, so you want to mod Hollow Knight Silk Song. You want to be a dirty little dirty little cheater and unlock abilities without having to do any efforts or whatever. I don't know, maybe you want some Act 3 abilities. I'm going to teach you how to do that real quick. So, first of all, you're going to want to you're going to want to make sure that you know which save file you actually want to futz with cuz if you do this wrong, you can ruin it. So, I'm going to be messing with the second one and I'm going to be starting a new save just so that you know you know that you can do this at any time and what you know the code will look like and all that. So, I'm going to start a new game to show what it'll look like <clears throat> from a fresh save. All right. Now, as you can see, we're in act 1. The game just started. My needle's just falling down for the first time. And yeah. We're we're in we're in act 1. So as soon as I can exit out, just going to quit the menu cuz it doesn't matter. You, you you don't need to start from a fresh save. I'm just doing that to show you. So, again, I'm in my second save slot, number 2. So what you want to do, you're going to want to exit out of Silk Song. All you need to do is know which which save file you actually want to alter. So I'm going to show you how to access your save files. So if you were to do the normal thing where you just go to manage and browse local files, you won't find it here. You're not going to be able, or at least I don't know if you can find the Silk Song save files from this area. What you're going to want to do is just go over here, type in run, and you'll get this. Then you're going to want to type this this code thingy into into the thing. app data backslash uh I don't know local local lao backslash teams cherry backslash hollow knight silk song. I'll put this in the description so that you can just copy this and uh paste it in here, but then you're going to press okay and you're going to get this folder. You won't be able to normally access this folder without using the run program. So you're going to want to click on whatever this folder is. It's just going to be a string of um, numbers. Then you're going to see all these. And you see user 1, user 2, blah, 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 all that. So since I want to alter the second save file, I'm going to want to pick user 2dat None of, none, of, none of these, just user2.dat. And you're going to want to go to this website. I'll put the link in the description. And all you're going to want to do is take your user2.dat file, drag it into here, and you'll see all this. And if you were to open this normally, you get this. Because it is an encrypted file. But this website will decrypt it for you, so that you can actually alter it. And then, the easiest way to see what you want is to just control F, and we're gonna... I'm, I'm gonna enable the Silk Soar ability. So, I'm gonna just type in, what is it, super... has super jump. So, as you can see, everything is labeled false. The game just started, I have no abilities. I've done nothing, so pretty much everything is false. But has super jump, all I want to do is type true. And and you can do this for any, like if you want the wall jump as well, type true, has double jump, true. Make sure you uh, leave this space here. And then you're going to want to download encrypted. And then just go to your file explorer and user user one dat you're going to want to rename this if you're not altering your first save file user two and then go back to your original delete the original user two dot dat and drag in the new one and then open up silk song go back to your original save file that you altered again i'm save slot number two wait for it to load and if you did everything right, I can't do Silk Sore, but I have the double jump, and I have... Okay, I gotta get to a, a wall to cling on. I have the wall cling. And that's it. 
So if you did everything right, if you didn't, you know, mess anything up, you will then have all the abilities that you set to true. As you can see, I have Silk Soar, Double Jump, and the Wall Cling. And this is how you can do things like play the whole game while cursed. You can change whatever crest, you can unlock all the crests, and all that junk. And as you can see, I have the Fey Down Cloak, but I don't have the um, Drifter's Cloak. I'm trying to, you know, I'm holding space again, I don't have it, because I only enabled Cling Grip and Silk Sword and Fey Down. And that's it. Easy as that.